Hello everyone, welcome to Coffee Cup Enlightenment. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to become enlightened. And in this demonstration, we have you, which is the observing eye. You have the world, and then you have the mind. And in order to answer the question, how to become enlightened, first it needs to be noted that this observing eye, the observing eye that notices the mind, and is, uh, there's a distinction between you and mind. Uh, this, is this is enlightened. It's not already enlightened, it is enlightened. And it's only through your unrecognition of the enlightenmentness that you already are that this, uh, this mind comes into the picture. And it, uh, it makes judgments to the world and then you experience it as an emotion. If you recognize yourself as this observing presence that was uh, that witnesses the mind and sees the mind for what it is and there's a distinction of awareness between you and mind then um, this process of the mind making judgments and experiencing emotions doesn't occur anymore and what's left is the enlightenment that you already are so the question is then how do we actually make this mind subside and uh, there is no actual how to make the mind subside it subsides on its own without any doing on your behalf just by realizing that you are the one that actually sees the mind and you are not the mind um, so there's nothing you have to do there's nothing you have to be and um, and it's usually if the mind's if, if there is something in you that's actually searching for enlightenment or looking for happiness or looking for peace it's, it's usually a reflection of the unenlightenment that you already are and this manifests as the mind and it is the one that's searching for happiness or peace and it never finds it because you already are it and uh, that's the cosmic joke um, eventually when the mind subsides then you realize everything that the mind was searching for you are already it um, you, that's it's the getting of the cosmic joke and um, then it comes to the question then how do we how does this mind subside then and it's really just as described before it's it's getting this recognition that you aren't the mind you are the one that observes the mind and um, I like to sort of describe in different stages of where people might be at on how they can make this mind subside again it's not a doing uh, it's more of getting a recognition of yourself as this uh, of this awareness as this observer and um, one thing that needs to be pointed to be before I can even start is um, if you really did know yourself as this observing presence as this enlightenedness as it may be which you might not experience but just for um, just for you know, matter of sake, we just say that you are this enlightenedness, and you you aren't the mind. Then your attitude really would be to the mind that um, if it did make judgments, and you knew you were that, you wouldn't really mind the mind. Um, you would accept the mind because you know that you are you are not it. What would it matter to you? What the mind does, and how many times? how many judgments it makes a day if you knew that you weren't it so really um, the underlying factor of realizing the enlightenment that you already are there's a there's an acceptance attitude towards the mind um, so in this demonstration uh, that's pretty much the theme of this demonstration is acceptance uh, of the mind and whatever it does and whatever judgments it makes and also the emotional responses that may occur uh, accepting of those too and um, if you're in this state where the mind's pretty um, dom dominant and it's making lots of judgments a day um, you might be at a state where you don't want to accept the mind and this is uh, you know is, is natural and normal when the mind's making so much judgments and there's so much uh, emotions experience there is not even a wanting to accept the mind and, and one thing you can do in this stage is um, in order to just bring about the tail 
of this acceptance within you uh, and to try to bring about the awareness of this enlightenment that you already are and bring about acceptance to the mind you can start uh, if the mind is producing lots of judgments and lots of emotions and you can't even, you don't even want to accept because there's just so much activity going on you can start with um, accepting that you can't accept the mind and all its judgments and, and all the emotions if the mind's producing lots of judgments and you're not aware of the mind you're not looking at it um, and it's producing lots of judgments you can accept that I can't accept uh, the mind and its judgments and I accept that I can't accept the emotions generated from this and um, so that's really like pretty much like stage one as long as you're in that state of acceptance you're really activating some level of distinction between you and mind and that's that that's the beginning of um, of this growth in distinction between you and mind and when there is a distinction the mind subsides and all its activity subsides and then what's left you realize what's already there you already are enlightened and then um, say you're not at that stage where your mind's very prolific in its activity say it's maybe around here the mind it's producing maybe several dozen, dozen uh, judgments a day and uh, they're producing several dozen emotions a day which are hitting you in the face you can say I do accept the mind um, and um, and then that helps make the mind subside and then um, your attitude might even um, be at a point where not only do you bring acceptance to the mind, you not mind the mind um, but there's an attitude of um, where you don't take the mind seriously anymore um, and that's because anything that's serious um, always comes from the mind. If, if you didn't have this mind activity going on there would be no seriousness uh, within you and so when there's no seriousness then it becomes much more easier to accept the mind and then you might even make some jokes about it uh, if the mind makes a judgment you just um, you you look at the mind and uh, you'll say thank you mind thanks for that uh, judgment and um, you know you can make some sort of joke about it and um, and then it gets to the point where you've 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 come from the point where you've um, you've you've accepted that you can't accept the mind's judgments, and that's starting to bring uh, acceptance into the uh, to the towards the mind. Then your attitude might be, oh yeah, I accept the mind. That's fine, and and it makes its judgments. And then as you do this, you actually see that it no lot no longer there's emotions are uh, generated anymore the mind can make a thousand judgments a day but if you're recognizing the mind and looking at it and have this attitude of uh, not mindingness towards it and acceptance towards it then no uh, emotions can be made this process no longer exists anymore and um, that's that's something that you realize um, even just naturally this process of um, the mind subsiding it's, it's for some people it's already happened they don't need to um, watch vi instructional videos like this um, somewhere in their life their mind there's, there's been a situation in their life where there was an opportunity for the mind to make really really big judgment about what happened and some somehow just naturally it aroused that um, you didn't want to follow that mind's judgment anymore and in that moment the mind subsided and um, so this is this this process what I'm talking about here it's it's already happens naturally in your life uh, everyone's it's, it's already happening to you right now uh, it's it's um, so it's it's not something that um, you can learn about it about it and it can accelerate the process but it's um, not something that uh, isn't isn't foreign to any every, anyone uh, it's already happened naturally to everyone um, if you're in the game of life then uh, this um, residing of the mind is pretty much destined to somewhat happen um, it does it is the case where the mind is prolific in, in maybe yourself or other people and um, there's lots of emotions being generated 
but in the end it's the destiny of the mind to be seen for what it is and um, and, and then eventually what's realized is you and when it when it resides um, anything that the mind was searching for which is really just a symbol of your own recognition of your enlightenedness um, you realize you're already here so thank you